Oh. God damn. So tomorrow my life is changing, once again. It's a change that I am well aware of and have been preparing for, both physically and mentally, for fucking months, if not years, of my life, but it's still a bit surprising how quickly it came about. I know I'm making this sound really dramatic. All I'm really doing is going tree planting, but like, that's a huge change for me, especially with how much freedom I've been living my life with recently. This is gonna be my first job since the COVID-19 pandemic. I am officially re-entering the workforce and being a productive member of society. At least I'm working outside and I don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> that's that's all I um, can say about that. I know I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm actually really excited for that, honestly. I, I feel like I've, I've been pretty good at letting go of things and I'm ready to just jump on in into the chaos of the unknown and fucking try something new, push myself beyond my perceived limits and I don't know how I'm gonna come out on the other side. Hopefully uh, a little bit richer in the pockets and uh, not not too broken up in the body, but I know tree planting is pretty tough on that. This is my last joint. <sighs> my weed addiction is something that I am kind of ashamed of and I feel like I've outgrown, especially in the last couple of years but it has really intensified and become a habit and coping mechanism because of the pandemic. But I don't think that this is something I wanna lean on when I am planting. So this is my first sacrifice to the planting gods, as well as my freedom and my entire summer of fun. So I just met two really cool planting chicks who all rolled up here to chill for the night. So any advice oh, any going advice. into my first season? I really liked what you said about substances and then oh, you want to repeat that. You. I would say like find a community that you feel safe in. There's a lot of unfortunately like enablers in any community you'll always have people who like support your bad habits and with tree planting is like the same but there's also a lot of really good people who support like no substances so people don't drink at all because it is like a physically Draining exerting thing. job like it's like marathon yeah. calories every single day and if you want to be good career wise it doesn't make sense to like use a lot of substances and like no judgment for people like that but yeah you gotta mm -hmm. find your safe communities so that's what i like about it mm -hmm. you can like find that so my advice to you is seek out the good people mm, i love that yeah the good people <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Any advice for me? Um, I would say mind over matter. Um, accept it as the challenge that you know that it'll be. And just try to make the most of everything. Um, road time. Road time kills. Don't spend too much time at the cash. <laughs> Don't don't be tempted. <laughs> there are no tempting. breaks. No, there yeah. are no breaks. And find a find like a, a, a steady pace. You don't have to go fast. Just like steady. Anything you can consistent. Yeah. Yep. Consistency Stay consistent. is peaks, and you do it for a long time. Absolutely. Too. Mm. Yeah. That was a fun little coincidence. Unfortunately, we're not in the same company or camp, but. You know, the community is part of the biggest reason why I'm doing this. Like, I am here to make some fucking deep ass lifelong friendships and maybe even a relationship or two. Today's the day! 
I am going into Wish Camp and it's going to be an isolation camp because of COVID. So yay to my non-existent freedom. <laughs> Before we actually get into camp, I can't just drive in. I'm meeting in this dirt parking lot and uh, my crew boss and everyone else is gonna come here. I'm gonna get COVID tested. I've been monitoring my temperature and any flu-like symptoms that I may have developed within the last two weeks. I feel healthy, so hopefully I pass this test. I've never really failed the test before, but <laughs> wouldn't it be ironic if it was the COVID test that I fail? Well, there goes my income if that's the case, but I think I think I'm optimistic that everything will be okay. So this is home, folks. Damn. It's my first bush camp. Kind of exactly what I thought it would look like, honestly. Actually, no. It, it's a little bit more trashy than what I thought it would look like, but that's the vibe. <laughs> So how would you describe tree planting to someone who has never heard of this before? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, okay. So it's part job, part experience. Um, the experience, I mean, you live in the bush, uh, you hang out with a crew of like 12 to 18 people. You get super close with them. You live in a tent, you eat amazing food. But the job, the job is, uh, I don't know, there's, like when you're a rookie, it's just kind of like you're digging a lot of holes and it sucks. You're on your feet for 10 hours a day. Um, crew boss is typically a jerk to you, just trying to get you to move. Uh, it's hard to hit minimum wage at first. You're paid per tree and the tree is like 13 cents. And oh my God, the things we will do for 13 cents. Um, but like once you start to get into it, a lot of people think of it like a sport or like a competition. I kind of like to look at it like a martial art. Um, it's a lot of like a, a mental power you use every single day to keep yourself from like just lying down and giving up, uh, to keep yourself moving through the fatigue. Um, but also there's a lot of like um, technical skill that goes into digging a, digging a hole and planting a tree. Because you're trying to make every single movement as efficient as possible uh, so that you can like have as much energy, plant the tree as fast as you can, run to your next spot, uh, rinse and repeat like 2,000 times a day. Um, and then you get ho home and your, your body's just fucked. <laughs> um, and maybe you'll get like tendonitis or something because you're just, you're just going as hard as your body. Like you, you push your body to limits that you didn't think you could like hit before. You, you, you kind of shatter parts of you <laughs> for money. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is gonna be my very first shift. I'm super excited. I'm definitely gonna go there with a game plan, which is to just focus on planting quality trees, getting the technique down, planting ambidextrous, because although it takes longer to learn how to plant and shove the shovel in with both hands. It's a, a lot healthier for your body in the long run, you know, just in case you get tendonitis in one arm. So I'm just gonna take my time at the beginning, not even focus on quantity. Like to start making solid money, I should plant at least a thousand to 2000 trees a day. But I know for the first couple of uh, days, I will be aiming like tomorrow, maybe a hundred to 200 trees and not even really care about speed or anything. It's just about focusing on technique and um, acclimatizing my body to the terrain and the movement because if I go too hard too fast, then I'll just get injured and cut my season really short, which is not useful. So planting is a long drawn marathon. I'm gonna remember that tomorrow. Even though I could push my body to go harder, it just doesn't make sense at the beginning. So we are going to be strategic.
part of explaining here is like, you guys can all come here. I'm gonna show you the cache. This is what we call, this is what we call the cache. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, it's really important to always have the park over the trees. So that's where you guys were gonna come, are gonna come to bag up every time. Okay, so we have the pine here. Um, C'est le pain en français, yeah, pain, pain. <laughs> Okay, so those, the pines, they usually like the dry. You don't plant them in the wet. Um, the main reason why is because whenever the roots are going down the ground, um, the roots of the pine are gonna stop whenever they find the water. So if there's like, if you plant it in a swamp or like it's wet, the roots are just gonna expand like uh, to the surface mm -hmm. and the pine are gonna fall, like they're gonna be strong at all and then it's just worthless. You just plant the, a tree that's gonna just kill himself in the wild. Mm -hmm. uh, and a dry, they just are gonna go dig deeper, deeper, deeper and like have a good base to be solid until they get the water. Then we have the spruce. Spruce is a pinet. Mm -hmm. um, those you can recognize them, like they are, they have like needles all around. It's kind of like bluish. The plug is usually pretty big, pretty solid. Are the needles sharper? Uh, they're kind of like hotter mm -hmm. than the, the fur and like, they're small kind of hard needles, right? Mm -hmm. um, one other thing with the spruce, the spruce can go in the wet area. So r rule number one, like we don't plant trees in the water. We don't want to drown the tree. Mm -hmm. Um, but the spruce do like uh, to dig their roots really deep in the ground, uh, even if it's wet. So that's the main reason why we have them in the wet is that it doesn't. Act, it's not going to affect the tree if it's in the wet. It's just going to keep going really fucking deep in the ground. Right. Um, yeah. So you can you can look at it too. It doesn't really like dry. Like you don't put put in the in dry. Mm -hmm. Th that is the fir, the sapin. Yeah. So this is basically your Christmas tree. Um, as you can see, like it's the needles are more spread out. They're mm -hmm. less puffy, less puffy, mm -hmm. more flat. It, it doesn't have like this bluish color. Yeah, you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. The needles are more, or I don't know, super eight like. Yeah. They're longer. I wouldn't say they're softer because they're just longer. They're like flatter. But yeah, basically. So you guys can all tell the difference between the trees. Yeah. Can I see the first one again? That's what's, pine. What's this one? Pine. What's this one? Uh, fir. Fir, fir. What's this one? Spruce. What's this one? Fir. Fir. What's, what's this one? Pine. What's this one? <laughs> Good. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Your finger stays straight, and the plug is like supported by the finger. Mm -hmm. Kind of if you you broke your finger and you have like an yeah. at, uh, like a oh. stick to like yeah. hold it. Yeah, yeah. independent yeah. French. So then you're gonna slide it down the hole on the shovel and when you reach the bottom mm -hmm. that you keep pushing with your fingers keeping the, the plug straight and you raise the shovel up by doing so you the plug is going to take the place of the shovel so like sometimes it's tight but then when you take the shovel out it takes the plug replaces yeah, the, the place yeah i like to shovel screw and uh, shovel twist sorry so i'm going to go like on either side of the the, the hole I'm gonna twist the dirt around, make it move. Me, even deep. like I'm still touching the tree and like holding the plug, right? Mm -hmm. I'm moving the dirt, making sure like there's no air pockets. Air pockets. Then I would always keep my shovel in my hand, so like I don't just leave it and do that, right? You're not planting a, an apple tree. Hmm. Then I always finish it with a pinch, right? So mm -hmm. I twisted the dirt around. I made sure there was no air pocket. I still touched the, I, I was still touching the plug, so it's still straight. Then I'm holding the tree with my two fingers here, mm -hmm. my pinky and my other one, which I don't know the name. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm with my thumb and my other finger. I'll just like gather the dirt around the plug. I'm gonna pinch it, and then, you know, I spent like a lot of time on it. It's just for the example, but then. Now I know that there is no air pocket. If I put my finger on the side, it doesn't go through. It doesn't go through, right? Sometimes like there's a small layer which is like compact, and then I just put my finger in, it goes in, and I can I can play with it. I can like fucking dance with the air. Hmm. Um, if I twist the plug, if I twist the, the tree, I can't see the plug. 
which is good. If I will do that, for, for instance, so like... So let's say I plant a bad tree, okay? Mm -hmm. This is in. Fuck yeah, this is a good tree. Then I, I wiggle it. You guys can come up. Yeah. Oh, come see. It's like, gently take the tree and like wiggle, move it, and see the difference, like what's moving. Everything. That, that's the top of the plug here. Okay. The tree is loose. There's like air pocket here, my finger is in. Mm -hmm. like, you can all come have a look and touch it. Yeah. So that's a bad tree? Yeah, that's a bad tree. That's a shadow, that's an open hole, that's a loose tree. Um, it's near the obstacle, it's on the right side. It's just, a sh yeah. It's it just won't survive. Yeah. It's cool loose. Hmm? It's a shitty one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, another thing I often see, there's a fucking rock here. Oh my God, it's hard. I hate my life. <laughs> the tree is here. I don't hold it properly. I just put it in and fuck it. You know, like, uh. this is like an extreme case, but um, for example, you can do like a J wood just by, if you push the plug from the top, you you're going to squeeze the plug. Mm. And, like, you just, you're not helping the tree to survive here. Uh, by pushing it down, sometimes if the hole is not deep enough and you just hold it from here, it's going to do like a J-root. This does trees like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like okay. the trees are going to follow the shape of the roots. That's why we want it to be straight. It's really so important. Always finger first. Yeah, that's one technique. A different technique I like to use. Uh, I have a rock here. I can put the tree down, then no. it's just on the side, right? And I take my whole hand, and like a ninja, I'm just gonna gently push <laughs> the, the, a bottom, gentle ninja. the bottom part of the plug, right? Like the tip. And then I make sure the plug is touching three sides, like this side here and like both back and front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I push it down, then I I'm gonna like have still touch the plug to make sure it's straight. Shovel twist, and then come to my pinch. So the tricks is like um, le, le, le coller sur le mur dans le fond. Là. Yeah, the more surface you're um, touching, touching uh, basically the more the less risk you have to have a bad tree, right? Yeah. So your hole should always be. Okay, so you open it, then you put your tree down. You make sure like everything is good, twist it. So by doing that, I know that this side is good for sure. Mm -hmm. There's no air pocket. I'm I, I'm feeling the plug right now. Makes sense. I know it's straight. With the, with the shovel, I can twist the dirt. It takes the place, like all the dirt is just like moving around. There's no more air. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come come back at the end. Make sure it's good. Now I'm twisting the plug. It's good. I can even like, you know, like, Dig around, twist the plug. I don't even see the plug. Like, this is good. Okay. Northeast. Oh. Scrief. Awesome. Yeah, just practice doing it. Whenever you're done touching the tree. Mm Made a hole, but it was too big. Oh no. <laughs> I should not be using two hands <laughs> or my entire body like this. <sighs> okay, all the way down. No. Doesn't seem like there's an air pocket. That looks, it's not moving. 
They're just not moving. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's a solid tree. <sighs> but fuck if I know. Ow! Oh! Damn. Yeah! Just hit a rock. I don't even think Ambi is gonna save me. I'm just gonna get tendonitis in both fucking wrists. To me, like if I was to describe to someone new, it's gonna be the worst job you've ever done, the toughest job you ever had done, but you'll get the most rewards out of it. You'll find out a lot about yourself. Uh, the biggest thing is just don't hive yourself super high expectations and just realize it is a time thing. Just like yourself, can't you realize, you know, now you're getting the hang of it. And then the biggest thing you can do is just keep a positive head. The worst thing for me, though, would be being away from my loved ones. But other than that, you meet a lot of lovely people here and become a big family. Yeah. Is that right, brother? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's something that people often overlook about this p position? Um, I mean, you're not really helping the environment here. Yeah, that's very true. You're kind of destroying the habitat. You're not planting enough trees that are diverse enough to make a livable ecosystem for many animals and plant species. This um, one particular contract though is actually uh, recarbonation. What's the name of it again, the one we're doing here? But like this is the only one we're actually doing some good because we're planting burnt down forests. Yeah. Versus our other jobs are just logging contracts. Yeah. And everybody hates loggers because yeah. Yeah, they're... <laughs> like none of the nutrients from the trees goes into the ground if they're being logged. Mm -hmm. They're all being taken away. So you're just planting and then like you're basically farming the land. The soil, like, the soil gets killed. And we're planting three species of the most flammable trees, so they like got really? blocks of like matchboxes in BC. <laughs> yeah. So it is day two on the block. I almost didn't make it into work today because I overslept both my alarms, which is shocking to me because I'm a pretty light sleeper, but I guess I was really tired after my first shift and Probably that with the CBD oil just fucking knocked me out. Like my phone was on, the alarms were on, but pff, I didn't wake up until Carly, my crewmate, knocked on my car and I was like, shit. And it's ironic too because right before she woke me up, I was dreaming that I overslept. Uh, and instead of waking up, my brain's like, okay, let's just continue sleeping and dreaming about this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just finished my first bag up in about an hour and a half. I have not had breakfast yet. I have had one caffeine pill for breakfast. Not even coffee, just a caffeine pill. Luckily, Carly also got me some sandwiches for lunch, so I do have calories that I can put in my body. Not many, and it's 12 hours until dinner, so I'm gonna do the first couple bag ups fasted. It, it's not too bad right now, but yeah. That, plus the fact that I just got dirt in my eye and my contact popped out and will probably come out really soon, is kind of bothersome. If you've ever had contacts and only had one in, you'll, you'll know that it really fucks with your vision. So, I'm still in a good mood, but I guess day two, the universe is already like, okay, time to throw some curveballs. Let's uh, see how she handles these challenges. I think I'm doing pretty good, but this may be a long shift. How would you describe tree planting to someone who's never done done this or heard this before? Just a really fucking brutal job, I guess. But you can make a good amount of money, and there's great people around. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, job of mental focus, aptitude, I guess. Like you can come out here in whatever kind of shape you are, and it doesn't really matter as long as you can stay in the zone, basically. But I mean, I don't know. We've been talking. The people make it all worth it. Just the people out here are great. Yeah, for sure. Super for sure. awesome place to be, but it's fucking hard. So what's the hardest part? Kind of like <laughs> comparing it to like emotional abuse, because it just feels like <laughs> an abusive like, relationship. Yeah, like an abusive relationship. Because when you're there, you just hate it so much, and like every second, and it's just like so hard. But then as soon as you're here, and you see like all the nice parts about it, you're excited to go back in again tomorrow and do even better. And it's just like this is abusive. <laughs> But, no, yeah. the hardest part is putting the trees into the ground. <laughs> well, it's fucking, yeah. I mean, just like the getting yourself part. to do it. Convincing yeah. yourself to plant the next tree is just... Yeah. Because like, the idea of, wow, I could just leave and yeah. I'd be fine. Yeah. But like, somehow you have to decide not to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the definitely... Part. When they say the mental part of it is like the biggest part and the toughest part, it's not a joke. Like, yeah. It's, 
Yeah, every day you want to quit. No, at least for me, every day yeah. I have thoughts running through my it's head. It's a good test. I really think anyone can do it, but it's just test yourself for sure. Yep. Yeah. How do you deal with it? I scream. Or <laughs> you have to vocalize it, yeah. I found. Yeah. One of our, our members of our truck, our crew, Sam, is the, definitely the most vocal I've heard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Constantly singing songs or shouting or making noises. Making scripts. It helps, yeah. Singing Different a song. Accents. Just screaming fuck you know like as loud as you can there's not really many other jobs where you get to do that yeah so you might as well take advantage of it yeah, yeah. that's what i say <laughs> for sure I mean, it's pretty nice i think also not looking at it as like the whole day you have ahead but just taking it like a small bit at a time so it's still day three it was freaking cold and snowing during the start of my second bag and now i'm done that bag two hours two and a half hours later and it's hot and sunny that's basically May in the northern interior of BC for you. Um, this has definitely been more of a mentally challenging bag up, that's for sure. Especially since this land is supposed to be cream, meaning it's really easy. Uh, and for every tree I put in, our a vet can put in 10 in the same amount of time, which is a bit discouraging. I'm definitely feeling very competitive here, but I need to remind myself like this is literally the third day that I've ever planted a tree and I'm doing pretty good, right? The only competition I have is myself, so I'm just going to try to beat my numbers tomorrow. Seems realistic with uh, the heavier bag ups that I'm doing and try not to get into my head. It's definitely starting to hurt my body a little bit, even with how much I'm trying to take care of myself. I'll go into my evening routine a little bit later, but yeah, this is when it starts getting a little bit fucky in my brain. I keep, I'm thinking, oh, do you really want to do this all summer? But like, fuck, you can't quit because you need money. So you have to find a way to just deal with it. I will take it one tree at a time, one day at a time. And hopefully I can survive the entire three and a half-ish month season. This shit's harder than it looks. <laughs> Tree planting is like a great growing experience for like learning and like learning who you are as an individual. But yeah. also like making new friends that are like like-minded. Um, yeah, being a rookie can be really difficult. Yeah. Seeing how fast everybody goes and you know, they're passing you and you're like, oh, I'm just not getting it. But like Gracie <laughs> said, um, it's a growing experience and you know, mm -hmm. those days go on, you get better and it gets easier and you know, then you have a trench day and it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> but overall, um, tree planting is mentally and physically exhausting. Really hard, but when you pull through that tough day, like you're so proud of yourself and it feels very rewarding at the yeah, end. You, you feel, feel like especially here in the PB. Yeah. You like yeah. cry through it, then you're like, fucking did it. Yeah. You got blisters all over your hands, you're crying, <laughs> you gotta wake up in the morning. But you know what? It's a hurt, but it's a good hurt. It's yeah. It's a good hurt. And the people you're with make it really good. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 And we meet great people like you. <laughs> we do wonderful things like that. <laughs> And so what's the toughest part in your mm -hmm. opinions? What do you guys struggle with the most? The mental game. Yeah. You know, you get out there, right. you have a bad day, you miss your yeah. family, you know, you're crying, you're fuck this. You're thinking about your numbers, you're thinking about other people's numbers, you're like, I'm not going fast, or like, it's more. It's definitely the mental aspect yeah. of it. Yeah, you just, you gotta push through, you gotta beat yourself, or else she'll take you down, yeah. and it will just be game over, and you won't be able to get back on the block, and definitely. you know, you won't hit that PB, and you won't feel that greatness, and trust me, I've had one of those days, and you're like, man, I feel like I'm like a shit at the end of the day because I didn't push through and yeah you just gotta push through yeah, you yeah. have great friends and great family and mm. yeah I think being away from <laughs> family and like when you want to come home and you're like oh I just want to see like my sister or whatnot I'm getting emotional <laughs> It's yeah. hard, but it's rewarding. It's yeah. Rewarding. yeah. Hey, oh. cut. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> hey y'all. So it is day one of the second shift. I feel pretty well rested. Thankfully, my body is in good shape. Although today things are getting a little bit more complicated because we're farting. And that's not what you think it means. Basically, we are fertilizing the furs with these little 
packets. Oh fuck, I just opened one. But there's basically a little fertilizer bit. Looks like a tea bag, but you don't want to drink this because it'll probably poison you. So every time we plant only the furs, we have to put a bag in, not too deeply, but not at the surface, and not actually touching the plug. So it's a bit complicated and I'm having trouble with fucking figuring out how to like hold my shovel, hold the frickin' fur, and also grab a bag at the same time. I end up grabbing like three at a time and it just takes a couple more seconds that I don't really have, which is fucking annoying. However, I still think that my pace is pretty good. I'm planting about 205 trees, um, each bag up in about two hours and 10 minutes. So a little over a minute a tree, still kind of longer than it needs to be, but I know that once we close this block and go to the next one again, which is the one we did previously, uh, that's fucking cream and we don't have to fart there, I think. So I'm just gonna fucking blast through it. It's annoying. I'm also really annoyed by the fact that I keep getting fucking slapped in the face and everything by these ponderosa pines. So basically the branches are downward facing and like right at the level that I'm bending over at. So we have to be able to plant these trees on obstacles so I can't really avoid them if they're on my path but they're just really hard to freaking get into without stabbing myself. As you can see I have my shoulder right up against those ashy, ashy fucking trees. I'm definitely feeling more annoyed than I did before uh, but I'm not really resisting it or judging myself. I'm just feeling what I'm feeling and fucking planting. So that's my update for you. I hope that I can hit 1,000 trees today. I was kind of like doubting myself last night. I told myself I really want to hit 1,000 trees. It seems realistic seeing as in my last uh, shift, I hit 800 trees, so I am getting faster. But I don't know, part of myself thought, oh no, it's not gonna happen yet. And I'm like, what the fuck? So we'll see what it is. I'm gonna try planting as, as quickly as I can, push myself, and if I don't hit 1,000 today, that's fine. I'm gonna hit it eventually, and probably sooner than later. So I'm definitely just working on my beliefs and working hard on the block. Uh, the hardest part of tree planting is, well, the bugs. <laughs> but no, realistically, it's like the mental um, torture <laughs> that you're putting yourself through. Because a lot of it is you in your head. It's you versus your head. Mm -hmm. It's obviously incredibly physical, mm -hmm. but there's a degree of it that's you can't really work out, you know? You can't really prepare for. I've heard that a lot. Yeah, it's just what happens to you. And I, a lot of people deal with it differently. Like, when I'm by myself, I deal with it. I'm either focused on the task and I'm going, or I'm fucking lost in my head. I'm thinking about a million things, an argument with my friends, dreams. When I'm around other people, like my crew will tell you, I'm just like delirious. Like I just go into different accents. I like will make skits. I'll be like, oh I might, what the fuck? How's it going? Just ridiculous. And some people rage, some people cry. It's all in kind of like your personal cocktail of how you deal with things. Um, yeah, I would say the hardest part of the job is that. And then also just is getting in your head, you mean? Yeah, it's in your head. And like knowing that it's like this Sisyphean task where you, you know, Sisyphus like yeah. to roll the boulder up the hill and... But every day it just it's the comes same tumbling shit. down. It's, yeah, it's the same exact thing. It's like, there's gonna be more trees. <laughs> always, always another bag, always another bag. And it just feels like a Greek punishment at some point, you know? What are we being punished for? Greed? I don't know. I don't think it's that. I mean, we're doing it to ourselves, so maybe it's some weird, like, you know, masochistic. Yeah. Uh, well, I would say it's greed because we're here for money, right? Personally, yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. It just uh, that I there's this line from I don't know. I think it's Camus. He's a big thing on Sisyphus, and he's like, you have to imagine Sisyphus happily skipping back to his rock. 
<laughs> so I have to imagine myself happily <laughs> skipping back to the cache. <laughs> Getting another bag. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It is day two of the second shift. My bundles of pine are fucking frozen solid, so I'm just trying to break them apart without completely mangling the root stem. It is definitely killing my time in production. I have yet to hit a thousand. I was so confident in myself because I was up to 800, but I think I hit a wall in terms of just my pace and my productivity and stuff for right now. I am getting faster with my bag ups, but it's frustrating because I'm so close and yet so far. I got really frustrated on my last bag up because first we were in this like horrible fucking slashy woods area so it just was so hard to navigate and that really slowed me down and then coming out of it I was just in a rocky just uh, all every every time I hit my shovel chink 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 so I had a meltdown that was my first meltdown on the block uh, I would not recommend because it really drains you of your energy and then you just slow down so That sucked, but you know what? I'm proud of myself because instead of avoiding the whole rocky bit I area planted that entire section since it was right by the boundary so Surprisingly it didn't really slow me down in terms of my pace actually it did because it was a smaller bag up but I have come to terms with the fact that I'm not hitting a thousand just yet it will happen eventually, but I'm just trying to get through the day, man. Even this shit is, is taking longer than I anticipated. But you know what? I told myself coming here that I want to practice the values of patience, persistence, and perseverance. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. What's the absolute hardest part of this job? Um... I would say, well for me it's like putting my boots on in the morning. Uh, because like once my boots are on, I've accepted the job. And I, I get to work and it's fine. Um, but I think for most people it's like, oh also the heat. Actually yeah, the heat sucks. Yeah. If you're trying to work your ass off and it's just blisteringly hot, like you're gonna keel over and fucking die. Um, but. I don't know. Maybe leaving the cache. Okay, so every time you, um, every every time you get to the block, you put a bunch of trees in your two side bags. You plant them. You come back to the cache, which is your, your mm -hmm. collection of boxes of trees. Um, and if you want to make a lot of money, you have to like just put your bags down, put the trees in the bags, put them on, and go. But I mean, like you know, maybe you want a cigarette, maybe you want a snack. Maybe you want to just drink a lot of water. Maybe you just want to sit down because your feet hurt and it's hot out. Um, five minutes turns into 20 minutes. And then you do that five times a day, you lose like two hours just to just to hanging out. Um, so I think that might be the hardest part of the job is like not taking breaks. And it's something that like every vet struggles with. Me, all my friends, like it's so hard not to take breaks. It's 10 hours of work a day. You have to like sit down at some point. And so on my best days, I'll take like a half hour break at one. Uh, but most days it's like 15 to 20 minutes every single bag. Um, yeah, it's crazy because I try not to take breaks either. But like time at the cast just like seems to be its own like little like time warp. Like yeah. it just goes by so quickly and you're like, how the fuck have I been here for 30 minutes? All I've done is drink water and put trees in my bag. I know, I know. It's so weird. And like, I don't know, I always zone out at the cache. And time just, it's like time on the block moves kind of quick, but relative to the time at the cache, it's like so long. Like you spend like maybe an hour to an hour and a half on your bag and it feels like kind of forever. But also once you get to the cache, it felt like it took no time at all. And then you spend your time at the cache and like you realize, okay, I got to get going. And it has only felt like two minutes, but it's been 20. It's the weirdest thing. Time is just unreal out there. Unless you like are constantly checking your watch, mm -hmm. you kind of just lose conception of time. Mm -hmm. um, How do you keep yourself going throughout the season? Uh, it helps to plant with people because then you kind of like bounce motivation off of each other. 
Um, me personally, I feel like I'm just good at like accepting that I have to do work and mm-hmm. just doing menial labor. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll slow down, but I won't stop. But that's just me. I just, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just don't care. I'm, I've accepted that I'm here mm-hmm. and there's no point in quitting. Um, like, that's a really good outlook. Yeah, there's no point in quitting. Like, my family's here, you know? I mean, not my literal family, but mm-hmm. you get so close with your crew, it's like, it's actually worse for them if you quit. Like, really? Cause, yeah, because then their morale drops to shit. Oh. You know? Because they're like, oh, fuck, we have a, qu- like a quitter on the crew. Um, my friend's gone. Like, all this crap. Maybe I should quit. Maybe they, they, they know something I don't. You have a documentary to film. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is literally the only reason why I'm here. You made a huge mistake. You know that? <laughs> I made a huge mistake? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Though it's funny. It's like, um, on the Facebook group KKR. Yeah. Um, I, I, I always see posts like, what would you, get, what, what advice would you give to a rookie? And then like 90% of the comments are, do not come, <laughs> don't, don't show up. Because, I mean, I don't know, I don't actually know if this is the case, but people like to say tree planting is the hardest job in the world. Mm-hmm. Eh, I mean, maybe like people on an oil rig have it worse. It's the third hardest. It's the third hardest? Yes. Like, how, what's, how do you measure that? Uh, I don't know, maybe just like physical and mental cost. Yeah, okay, yeah, we burn like 5,000 calories a day. Yeah. That's a lot. We eat just about as much though. I love the kitchen staff here. Yeah. Hey, hey, so I have exciting news today. It is the third day of the second shift, AKA Friday. It's not actually a Friday, it's like a Tuesday, but the way that it works for like planter speak, Basically, the first day of the shift is a Monday, the second day is a Wednesday, the third day is a Friday, and then our day off is a Sunday, the Lord's Day, the day of rest. So, yeah, this is a really amazing day because I am finally going to hit a rookie milestone, which is planting a thousand trees in a day. I'm basically doing the same bag up every time, 220 trees, and at first it took me like two hours and 20 minutes to do, and every single day after that I got 10 minutes faster, and today something just clicked, and every single bag that I'm doing, I'm getting 10 minutes faster. So first it took me an hour and 50 minutes, then an hour and 40, then an hour and 30, and now an hour and 20 minutes. So I am super freaking stoked, and I just wanted to update you guys on that because most rookies don't get to this point until like the third shift so I'm kind of ahead of the curve in a way not to brag the other uh, rookies on my team are also gonna hit a thousand today so it's super excited we're really motivated and hustling I think for me, the toughest part of this job in the first three weeks that I've been here has just been dealing with the physical exhaustion and soreness. Now, that isn't really manifesting as a physical challenge. It's more of a mental challenge because although my body is still adapting to it, it has been doing pretty well. And it's really just a mental focus issue, you know, just being able to push past the fatigue and convince myself that I can continue to plant fast and more trees than I'm already planting. Luckily, I'm grateful for the fact that, you know, I have been pretty good at dealing with the elements planting in rain or snow or hail or heat. The heat is, is, I think, the worst for me just because it exacerbates the physical exhaustion, but I can still do it. Like, I, I, I used to really hate just working in outdoor environments when the conditions weren't ideal, but now I've just kind of accepted it, so I'm glad about that. I was also worried about the monotony of things you know this is my first job in like a year and I'm basically doing the exact same task thousands of times a day every day right and I thought at some point I would get bored perhaps I will but I I'm pleasantly surprised by the fact that every day although I'm doing the same thing it feels different you know every day the conditions are different and there's a new challenge to focus on and overcome so I am grateful for the fact that 
there is so much uniqueness and variety in every single workday. I just got paid the other day and I basically made $1,300 in my first nine days, which I think is pretty freaking good, you know? To be fair, I'm, I worked like 90 hours, so I was basically making minimum wage, but I, I like the number on that paycheck, and that is basically just the baseline. I have the potential to make double and even so much more than that, so now I'm gonna focus on really trying to push myself farther out of my comfort zone. I know I can plant like up to 1300 trees in a day with like 80% effort so I'm curious to see what that number is going to rise to when I put in 100% effort. So moving forward I'm going to focus on efficiency, motivation, and anything else I need to keep myself in the game for the next two and a half months of this adventure. So there you have it the first episode of Dirt and Debauchery. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will be a lot more stories and adventures coming up. And with that, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.